So here we have a reaction of N-ethyl propanamide plus water. We're going to look at the hydrolysis of this amide. The hydrolysis is going to occur between the C and the N. So the water is going to come over like this. And it's going to, I should flip this around, but the hydrogen, the hydrogen is going to bond with the nitrogen and the hydroxide is going to bond with the carbon. Don't need to know the mechanism for that. Without complicating things, put the hydrogen there and the hydroxide on the carbon. Flip it around maybe. Yeah, so that's going to grab that, that's going to grab that. Uh, yeah, so you can see that's going to split the amide. And we could even name these products. Think about what the name will be. So this has three Pro carbons. Propanoic. Right. So we have oic. And ethylamine. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so three carbons. So we have prop and oic acid. Um, and then there's two naming conventions for amines. So ethyl, there's two carbons. Amine. Or you could have one amino ethane. Start numbering the carbons from the amine. And you can see that um, the amine is like a side group. So, and we have to say that, and when we name amine as a side group, it t takes the name amino, and then the backbone, whatever, is ethane. Um, so this is another naming convention. Okay.